Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. Do you need to compare values across a visual without writing complex NACs? Power BI's new calculations make it easier than ever. In this video, we'll explore the new lookup and lookup with totals function using a real life hospital scenario. Imagine you're analyzing patient wait times at a hospital. You want to see how each department performs across different shifts, morning and night. Let's start by adding in the matrix to our report page and then bring in the department, shift and the wait time. And let me bring in the shift as well into the rows section and head to the format tab and then change the layout here to tabular. And let me right click and select expand to next level and also get rid of the row subtotals here. I've increased the size of these values as well. And let's right click on the visual and select new visual calculation. Under new visual calculation, you will see two new options available here. Look up a value with context and look up a value with totals. First, let's select with context here. And now here is our lookup function with three different arguments. The first argument here is to mention the field name. The second argument here is to mention the column and the third argument is to mention the value. So let us see how this works. I'm going to start off by finding in the average of our wait time. In the field here, I'm going to say sum of wait time minutes. And in the column here, I want this by shift. So I'm going to enter shift here. I forgot to close the parenthesis here. And in the search value, I need, I will use the selected value function, selected value, let me reduce the size, selected value of, selected value of the shift column and then click on confirm. And I've made a mistake again, let me edit the formula here and close the bracket here for the lookup function and click on confirm. Let's go back to our report. And now you can see that we have added our average time and let's right click on the average wait time here and choose average. So this is our average wait time for morning shift and for night shift based on the department. Now let us take a look at the second function that we have. I'm going to right click again, click on new visual calculation and select look up value with totals. And let's repeat the same process here again for the field here. I'm going to type in average and in the field name average of wait time. And let me remove this. And then in the column section, and also don't forget to close the bracket here for average. And then for the column, I'm going to type in the shift. And for search value, it's going to be the selected value and shift and click on confirm. And I forgot to enter the parenthesis once again. Let's do that. And now you can see that we have two different average values being displayed here. One, the average value that you see here is basically for this context, for this particular row. For cardiology, for morning, the average time is 58. For cardiology, for night shift, the average time is 49. Now, when you look at lookup value with totals, the value that you see here, 53.33, is different from lookup value with context. The reason why this is different is because it is now calculating the average for all the morning shifts combined, irrespective of which department it is. Now, if I remove the department here, this is basically calculating the average of the morning and night shift. And when I bring in the department here, you will see that let me right click and expand to next level. You will see that this particular value is being calculated only for cardiology morning shift. And this particular value here, lookup value with totals is being calculated for cardiology morning, emergency morning and pediatrics morning. Entire total that is 58 plus 48 plus 54 divided by 3. The average here is 53.3. Likewise here for the night shift 49 plus 57.5 and 47.5. The average is 51.33. So the lookup value with totals basically removes any of the filters that have been applied here in this case is the department filter that is being removed and the average is being calculated but in this case it is being calculated with the context whatever row that you have in your table it gets calculated based on that now we can compare each department's morning wait time against the hospital average for that particular ship right inside this visual without writing complicated DAX across the model. This kind of comparison is incredibly useful whether you're analyzing wait times, sale targets or production benchmarks. Any visual calculations makes it faster and easier. If you're excited about visual calculations in Power BI, try them in your next dashboard. If this tutorial helped you, like the video, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and colleagues.